so we've synced our whole repository. We've got all our source code. We're ready to build, right? Well, not quite. Let's look at preparing to build the next step here. It says we need to download our proprietary binaries. So we're going to click on these Google drivers to build for the Shamu or the Nexus 6 phone. But essentially what this comes down to is we have all the source code for building the operating system of Android, but we don't have the source code to build for the tools, or excuse me, to build for the drivers that run the phone itself. Things like that make the GPS work, things that make the cellular work, things that make the camera work. Those components were built by companies that didn't want to share their code typically. And so you have to download the binaries or pre-compiled packages and install, install those into your build. So we're looking for the Shamu, the Nexus 6 uh, binaries for Android 5.1.1, all carries except for the T-Mobile. So here we go. Um, and here's the download links. You can just uh, click on those and download them. And once uh, once you get one downloaded, go ahead and down the other one, download the other ones as well. So we see like the first one here makes the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi work, uh, and NFC. And then we have for the GPS and the audio and the camera. And then we have for the the media, uh, the uh, touch screen, those sort of things. So we need to download all of those tools that we're going to use um, while we're building for our phone. Now, where you get these particular files uh, depends on each phone. For instance, we just looked at Android Open Source Project. We can get them right there for things like the Nexus and the Pixel phones. Um, a really great place to go is uh, on GitHub, the Muppets. The Muppets actually have put together tons of these proprietary vendor files. And this is a really, really handy place to know about and where to go to get the files that you need to build for your particular phone. Uh, notice here they have Samsung phones, Nextbit phones, OnePlus phones, uh, Hawaii phones, um, Motorola's, Lenovo, all of the different brands here, LGE. So if you click on one, for instance, the Google brand here, and we can download uh, for Lollipop, which would be equal to Science and Mod uh, 12. And we see they don't actually uh, have too much in this particular branch for the for the phone we're looking for. Um, Although typically, like this is where I'll go to get for the LG G4 and these things. Now, how they got these binaries is actually there's a tool that you can utilize to download the binaries from off of your phone. And so people have downloaded the latest binary from off of their phone. So here we have the Motorola, and we're going to go to CyanogenMod 12. Well. Here we are in 14.1, in here's the latest, and we can see, oh, there's the Shamu. So yeah, it's a little confusing because it's Google's phone, but they had Motorola make it for them. So, um, so this would be the right place to go for the, for the vendor files that we need. So instead of using the ones that we downloaded on the uh, Android open source project, you could also uh, download them uh, from places like here. Uh, if you're not sure about a code name, you can always type the name of the phone and then the code name. Typically, Google will pop right up with whatever the code name is for that phone. Like we know the Shamu is the Nexus 6. However, you might be confused like, oh, wait, was that the Hammerhead? Or wait, was that the 5 or the 5X? You know, you can you can sit there and, uh, and just use tools like uh, Google to download those. So here we'll get 12.1, uh, which was the Lollipop 5.1 equivalent from CyanogenMod, and we're going to download that zip with all of those vendor files. So these files, of course, will show up in our download folder. 
if we uh, middle click on the folder, it'll open up as a separate tab. So we can look at that tab. Let's go to our Android Lollipop folder. And you notice there's no vendor folder here at the bottom. And so we take this vendor Motorola um, zip here. We gotta wait till it's done downloading. But if you click on any of these, you can actually just use this extract here. And it'll extract that folder right uh, right into the directory you're working. Now we're going to go ahead and delete that. We don't need that particular one, but uh, just wanted to show you that that is available there. Sorry about the delay. I've got pretty slow internet, so I just cut till we were done downloading. So here we have our our downloaded file, completely downloaded now, and we can just right click on it, we can extract that here. Of course, it's gonna have to unzip that file for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. And once, uh, once we get that all um, extracted, we now have files that we can work with for these vendor proprietary binaries. So a binary is a program or a compiled piece of, uh, of code. So once again, typically these are not open source, although some are available. So we can just copy that whole folder over to our Android Lollipop. We're gonna make a new folder. We're gonna call it Vendor, V-E-N-D-O-R. And we're gonna drop our proprietary vendor file in there. Now we're gonna rename this file. We're just gonna call it Motorola. Now notice it was called vendor Motorola and, and then it had the branch tag after it. So we don't need the branch tag and, and that vendor Motorola part was telling you it goes in the vendor folder. So we don't need that last part. So you need the last full word that's before the branch portion. So now we have our vendor files and we are finally ready to build. So if you don't have these vendor files, it's actually not going to work after you build it. 